I like to have a reference. Okay, so set uh, okay. here, and uh, 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 when you do this, this is called back extension exercise. Simply, what I would like you to do is to extend your back okay. to um, maintain the anterior curvature okay. of your lumbar. So it's more like you educate in your body where the right curvature should be. That's okay. that's the the whole idea of doing this exercise. Okay, okay? perfect. And so uh, sit, you know. Uh, I, when you do this exercise, I prefer you to sit the chair without the backrest okay. because you want to come, come backwards. Okay. And when you do this exercise, uh, you little bit sit a little bit deeper, right? And make sure that your both feet are on the floor. Okay? Yes. And the starting position of this exercise is let me push you, okay? This is your sacrum. Right. And as I push, I'd like you to stick your tummy out a little bit, a little bit more. Right. So this is the right uh, positions should be. Okay. So as long as you are sitting like this, uh -huh. uh, the foundation of your body, which is your pelvis, right. is level. Okay. So your spine is able to stand upright. Okay. Right? So, but longer you sit, your body tends to be right like that, right? Your 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 pelvis started to rock backwards. Yes. So when that happens, your foundation is going to be back this way. Okay. So what's going to happen to the lumbar right. is all see huge curvature so okay. make sure that you sit like this just stick your tummy out okay. as much as you can so this is a starting point and when you do this exercise i'd like you to simply come backwards but i'd like you to feel the tension where the sacrum is so okay. coming back this way okay. until your both feet is just about lifting off the floor oh okay yeah. like now and, and okay. then come back so you can probably put your hands like that it makes a little bit easier. Come oh. back. Oh, and okay. Front. This is two and three and back. Four and five and six and seven and eight and nine. And ten. That's it. Okay. So this is the you know the exercise probably you know uh, uh, anytime you 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 know uh, hopefully like every thirty minutes or an hour. Okay. Uh, if you're able to do that, and of course if you can stand up and just uh, extend your back, that's easiest probably. But, okay. Uh, you can do this uh, exercise as daily basis as frequent as you can. Okay. Through the day. And the uh, second exercise right. is uh, I'd like you to perform while you're lying down on your back. So okay. uh, you can, yeah, lie down on the back. Okay. And the first exercise will be called uh, the pelvic tilts. Pelvic tilting, okay? Oh. Pelvic, basically tilt is uh, your pelvis, you move your pelvis and so on. You know, I, I, funny enough, I have that from my uh, physical therapist. Right, right, I'm pretty sure they, they teach you. Yeah, I, so. I have the chart actually, so it's actually, uh, uh, right, but well, when you do that, yeah. maybe it's a little bit different, but uh, I'd like you to do this exercise in three different positions. Okay. The first one is here. Make okay. sure that your, your knee is not touching together. Okay. This is the first position, okay? okay? First, second position, and third. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so the first one here, when you do this exercise, I'd like you to put your both hands on the back. Make sure that you, you extend. Okay. You're not going to be rounded okay. when you do this exercise. This is starting position. Make sure that you go. Right. This way, this is starting position, right? How you move your back or the pelvis is, I can easily put my hands behind, right? right. I don't want this space. So you what I'd like you okay. to do is to push my hands with your back. Okay. So when you do that, your pubis comes up, right? Okay. So simply yeah, okay. going like uh, this. Uh, and you have to squeeze your buttock, like right. I said, right? right? To make that happen. And a little bit of the contraction of your ab. Yeah. And, and then relax. That's one. And two. And do I hold it or no? No, you can you can hold it two and relax. Three. Oh, okay, I can I can feel it working. Yeah, so it's a rocking. You have to all you gotta do is you can, yeah. All right. So see. this is basically simple. You can make arches here and come back, right? I and see. so make sure that you you contract you have right. um, six to eight, eight you know eight reps. That's good enough. And this is how, how many times? Uh, so six to eight eight reps. Okay. Yeah, and if you do that, you move it to the second position, which is right here. Make sure oh, that you, you separate it. You don't go this way, right? Right. And do this. It's getting a little bit harder. Got to go ahead. Right. One. 
Uh, yeah, this is a new angle to it because the other right, right. One, that yeah. that stimulates the, the different yeah, fibers, right? Yeah. So you do again six to eight. I see. And once you're done, Completely. this is the the hardest here. But uh, make sure that you separate your your arm. Yeah, and then go ahead and do the same thing. Right. I see. Right. Most important thing is that you squeeze your butt, right? Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah, and you do six to eight. So this is one set. So eight, well, let's say if you do eight reps, you, you do eight, 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 right? That's uh -huh. one, one reps. After you're done, you go back to where you was uh -huh. and go to the second sets and eight, eight, eight again. And how many sets? Three sets. Uh -huh. Yeah. In the morning and the, and the before? Yeah, it, it's more you can do it. it. It helps. So there's no limits. I mean, you know, uh, it's not going to harm you. Uh, so whenever you, you, you know, between your break, if you have a time to just lie down on the floor, okay. uh, I, you can do it on the bed, but if the bed is, is a little bit too soft, I, I recommend you to do it on the floor. Right? Yeah. And, and also after you do that, the three sets, yeah. uh, next one is called pelvic thrust. Oh, okay. And this one is more to facilitate your glutes and the okay. pelvic floor muscle, right? And when you do that, I would like you to open up your right. hip and put your both feet together right here. Okay. This is the starting position, right? right. Your hands are still here. What I'd like you to do is to just uh, uh, thrust or, or, or lift up your pelvis upwards. All the way? Like yeah, all the way. Like so bridging? Yeah, yeah, bridging, yeah. Okay. So lift up a little bit more. Yeah. If you do that, you feel that? Your, your yeah, glutes has it. to be really squeezed up, yeah. right? Yeah. And then, yeah, and then go back. If you're able to like lift up a little bit more, that's great. But, uh, but as long as, yeah, it's, yeah, as far as you can go, good, good, good. Yes, yeah, just right about here. And relax, good. Okay. It's two, three, up, and down. So when you do this exercise, just I will, I'd like you to focus more on the glutes and your, your, your pelvic oh, yeah. floor muscle. Just squeeze it as hard as you can, right? Yeah. And you do eight times again. Okay. And that's one set. Yeah. And uh, three sets. Okay. So what you can do is you can do pelvic tilts Eight, eight, eight first, right. and then you you do pelvic thrust eight times and make it the one set, and you can do three. You know, oh, okay. yeah, okay. You, you don't have to do it separately. You can just you know yeah. combine it together. But um, yeah, those are the only two exercises that I'd like you to continue to do. Okay. Yeah, in Perfect. walking, you know. Yeah. You know, in between, I mean, with your wife in the morning, that's great. But uh, uh, and 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 make sure that you know. Uh, when you pick up something or when you lift something, uh, getting things out of your trunk, always you know focus your your, your buttock. Just try to squeeze it before you Makes do. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. To yeah, stabilize. I, I never hands. knew that. I always knew that I shouldn't be like lifting in that position, right? Because it put pressure just straight and lifting. Right. But the buttock, I mean, that explains it because when you straight, also you squeeze the buttock, right? Yeah, yeah, and, and, and you have to because, again, this is the biggest muscle in our body. There's a reason why it's big because you have to utilize that more, right? Yeah. And like if you see gorilla, I mean, yeah. their, their back and, and, and the butt is so huge because he's always like, you know, uh, right. leaning forward. And in order for him to, to, to keep or, or, you know, their, their body weights, uh, being in this position, their back, not only the back muscle, but the, he has to have a huge buttock muscle to make that happen. So, you know, our, our body is the same way, but we don't lean forward all the time. Right. But we do look down all the time nowadays to smartphone or the computer. So we have to utilize our buttock a lot more than we, we should, but the many people don't. That's why, you know, they, they, they all... all all they do is to, to only use their back muscles to make that happen. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. And that will give sooner or later. So basically the first exercise was a pelvic tilt. Right. In and then three different positions. Three different degrees yeah. of the right. bending right. all the way down. To, right. And then the other one was basically like this. Like with this. And, and bridging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that's this, it. This is good. Yeah, that's it. And if you're able to, again, you know, walk, uh, whatever, you know, the exercises, if you right, push course. up, that's good. But. Uh, uh, that's and my the, hands behind my back. Yeah, behind make sure that, that, that you do that. You know, yeah. otherwise you, you start to call up. I, I, I don't. Yeah, that's that's happens, much more so. comfortable too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So that's that's pretty much it. And I, I think you know if you keep doing it, your pelvis is is, is you know it become more stabilized. Right. And once you have a stabilized pelvis, 
your back muscle doesn't have to work harder again. So, you know, you, you kind of, your back, weak back is protected. You, you have, you know, Scottish and all that already, I'm pretty sure because of the accident. Right. And, right. and not only the one single accident, but like, you know, when you're kids, when you're playing sports, you know, things that we forgot about, but the body has, has formed a lot of Scottish everywhere, right? So, um, but, uh, but I think, yeah, that, 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 that's it. Oh, that's and and, and when, you. when your body, uh, uh, you know, again, needs to get loosened, of course, you know, I mean, it accumulates. So no matter how, how much, how well you do exercises, it, it will, you know, hold up a lot of stress. That's when probably before it gets too bad. You, you, if you come in, I can loosen that up and mobilize okay. it a little bit so that, you know, it's not going to get worse, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you should do this uh, on the YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In Japanese and English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, th no, this is a great yeah. advice because, yeah. you know, what happens is, you know, I, I would never guess that, right? There's no way to guess. So you have to have a, thank you. You have to have a, uh, yeah, we have 10 minutes right now. <laughs> so here, the Dr. Kazaki, yeah. the new YouTube star. <laughs> yeah. And uh, perfect. Yeah, but, uh, yeah.